Welcome back, Glam Fam. It's your girl, Angela Denise, and I am here with you today with my Sephora Spring Haul. And yeah, got a big bag. I did a little damage in store, and I also did some shopping online. So I want to go ahead and start this video out by welcoming everyone that's new to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. And to all of my OG subscribers, thank you for rocking with me for yet again another video. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with repurchases. The first thing that I purchased was another Precisely My Brow brow pencil. I wear the shade 4.5. It is currently in my brow at the moment. This is my primary brow product. This is my go-to, has been for almost a year right now. So I had to go ahead and pick up another one of these. So yeah. Next is the Hourglass Caution Mascara. Honestly, when I first purchased this mascara, I, it was honestly because of the packaging and it was just so unique looking. But after using it and trying it over the last couple of months, I have put it up against some other mascaras that I have in my collection. Most recently, the Pat McGrath Mascara. And I actually like this better than the Pat McGrath Mascara. Which is one of the reasons why I decided to go ahead and repurchase it. And it does have a six month shelf life. So I can justify buying this twice a year. So I really do love this mascara. And um, I'm so glad that I decided to try it last year. So next up is another Pat McGrath Lust Lip Gloss. And this one is in the shade Faux Real. I love Pat McGrath lipstick and lip gloss formula. So I decided to go ahead and pick up another gloss. And this one is the shade that Kelsey has recently raved about. So that's truly one of the reasons why I decided to repurchase it. Plus, I need a nice uh, peachy beige nude in my collection. And so that's what this is. I am wearing it on my lips right now. I'll go ahead and... That's what she looks like on the lips. I absolutely love Pat McGrath Lip Gloss Formula. So uh, I literally have like eight of them in my collection now. So next up is a foundation repurchase. And this foundation I have been head over heels for lately. I love the fact that it just gives me the natural radiant look. Um, I've been kind of steering away from a mattifying foundation. Especially during the winter time, my face really doesn't get really oily. And if it does, it's just in my uh, cheek area. But this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiant Perfecting Foundation. So for winter time, I use the shade 4C1. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the shade 5N2 to mix in for summertime because I really love the formulation on this uh, foundation. So I've been wearing that foundation combination um, at work over the last couple of weeks and I found that I really don't get that oily when I prep my skin correctly. So I had to get another shade of this foundation because I love it that much. So next up are my Shiseido Facial Cotton. Now these did go up like a dollar or two, I believe, from the last time that I purchased them. So I typically purchase two or three packs during the VIB sales to kind of stock myself up. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and purchased two packs. These are just some staple things that I have in my skincare routine. I use these Shiseido Facial Cotton to take off my eye makeup and to apply toner every day. So my last repurchase is going to be my Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. And this is the quick dry formula. This is the Big Daddy. This is the 32 ounce. I haven't even opened it yet. But this is a staple. I typically buy this once a year and I use this to quick clean my makeup brushes. And I love the fact that it doesn't leave your brushes soaking wet. And also it kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria. Cleaning your makeup brushes is a must. And this is like my holy grail makeup brush cleanser. And so yeah, I do purchase this once a year. So had to pick up one of those. Okay, so that is gonna wrap up all of the repurchases uh, that I picked up. Now, let's look at some products that I'm trying out for the first time. So first things first is the Tatcha The Silk Canvas. And this is the travel size version. I decided to pick up the travel size because I already have primers in my collection that I love. This was 0.24 ounces and I wanna say it was $20 or $22. So yeah, I'm glad that they came out with this one in a travel size. I have been hearing everybody rave about this primer and I just had to try it out for myself. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I have heard people rave about this. So of course I had to try it out for myself. Plus I wanna try out more Charlotte Tilbury products. So this is the medium dark. One thing that I love is the fact that it is a, a squeeze tube which makes it travel friendly. 
Um, I don't necessarily like the fact that it has this little sponge tip, but I do love the fact that you can turn it on and off to prevent excess product from squeezing out. So all I can say is I used it today and it's not just like a concealer. There's something about it. It's not matte. It has that kind of a natural finish to it. And so far, I'm loving it. That is the shade. And honey, when I tell you it blends like a dream, oh my God. So next up is Dior. And this is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer. I do have other Dior Luminizers in my collection, but this one is a little bit different. This one is the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer, whereas the other ones that I have in my collection is called Nude uh, Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer. So um, I do know that those other ones are a little bit more pricey. So it comes in this really nice velvet pouch. And here is the product. Again, this is the shade 04. I am wearing it on my face right now. Very lightly. And that's what it looks like. So yeah, I decided that I wanted to add another Dior Luminizer to my collection and right now is the perfect time considering these luminizers are gonna run you $48. So yeah, that's that. Next up is Jouer. So these are the new Jouer powders. This is the Soft Focus and Hydrate Set Powders. I cannot wait to try these out. Okay, so I bought two colors. I bought dark and then I bought tan. Unfortunately, tan came broke, so I can't even show you guys. Um, another thing that I love about this product is the fact that the packaging is really nice and weighty and this is what she looks like it looks very luxe you guys know i love a luxe compact and so this is the color dark i wanted to try out both colors so i can kind of let you guys know like for what skin tones which one would work for you so this is dark i think i'm going to go ahead and try and work this out yeah i don't know We'll see. I'm super excited about this powder, seriously. Um, I can't wait to try it out for y'all. Okay, next, two lipsticks. I have been dying to try the new Becca Lipstick Love lipsticks. And so I picked up two shades. I wanna say these retail for like 23 or $24. These are a very, very beautiful hydrating formula. I am in love, okay, in love. That's truffle. And this is tawny. Like, I seriously wish you guys can feel the texture. It's so bomb. I love them both. This one is tawny is neutral and truffle is warm. Like seriously, if you are looking for just a traditional bullet lipstick, but you want something that's not matte or anything like that, that's a traditional formula, but super creamy and hydrated without being super glossy, girl, this is it. Like seriously. So you guys know that I did a collab uh, VIB sale recommendations video with my girl Savvy. And she recommended the Sephora Pro Precision Powder Brush, the number 59 brush, which I did decide to go ahead and pick up. Um, it was $38. I did use this to apply my bronzer with. I felt like it was perfect for that. So yeah, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and pick that up. This is real gold hair. Um, I do prefer natural hair fibers on my brushes. So I was super glad that I decided to go ahead and pick this up. So I actually used to have the number 59 brush back in the day, but I either lost it or someone stole it. And um, now that I have it again in my collection, I totally remember why I love this brush. It's it's not a super soft brush that I would recommend using for like powders, but the um, what I love to use it for is bronzers. I feel like it's the perfect density and stiffness 
for bronzers. So if you're looking for a good bronzer brush, check this one out. Um, I also picked up this thing. I think I've seen Andrea every day using this or something like this. This is the Sephora Color Switch by Veramona. And basically it's an instant makeup brush cleanser. Like whenever you're doing your eyeshadow and you wanna just switch the color, but use the same brush or something like that. This is what it looks like. This was like $14. And I totally uh, needed something like this. And it's weird. I'm not quite sure what the science is behind this, but uh, this is basically all it looks like. It's not damp or anything like that. It is reusable. You can clean it and everything. And it's basically, you you know, swish your brush off in there and it will remove the color so that you can use another color uh, on the same brush. So I decided to pick up some lashes and these are the Lily Lashes um, in Hollywood. I've seen these and I really like them. I actually also wanted to pick up Miami and this is what Hollywood looks like. I can't wait to try these out. Like these look so pretty. So next up are some hair clips and these are the Sephora Hair Hold It Together Alligator Claw Clips. And y'all know I have a lot of hair. And so I decided to give these a try because I used to have some, but they all broke. Um, I do love Sephora's return policy. These did retail for $10, so I figured that I'll get them, I'll try them, and if I didn't like them, then I'll take them back. But um, clearly, they are big enough to hold my hair in sections, like whenever I'm diffusing my hair and stuff like that. So. I'm glad that I decided to give these a try. I had to order these online. They were unavailable in store. And I do like the color. They're like, they're kind of rose gold, but then they're like a dusty mauve color. So yeah. Another brush cleanser. But this is the Beauty Blender Liquid Cleanser. I got the five ounce for $18. Um, I wanted to go ahead and give this a try because typically I use the Beauty Blender Solid for both my beauty sponges and my brushes. And this is the one that I use for a deep clean. So um, I wanted to try the liquid version. It seemed a little bit more convenient and just kind of see um, if it performed the same as the Beauty Blender Solid. So I have to go ahead and try this one out. It's been on my list for a minute now. Okay, skincare. Um, I know we've talked about a lot, but you know, this is the part that honestly is truly the most important. And I'll go ahead and lead with the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Extra Strength Daily Peel Pad. And this is the set of five treatments for $17. Um, I decided to only get 17 simply because I have so many other exfoliants in my collection. But truly, when it comes to peel pads or just a convenient uh, product, this is at the top of the list. This is a bomb exfoliating treatment. It's a two-step pad. Just in case you don't know what it looks like, this is what it looks like. This is like one of my holy grail exfoliators, seriously. So if you guys have a chance, um, you may wanna check these out if you're looking for a good exfoliator. Chemical exfoliant. And this does have a um, combination of AHA, BHA chemical exfoliants in it. So love that stuff. Okay, next up is uh, serums. And these are all affordable from brands at Sephora. And the first one comes from a brand that just launched at Sephora right before the sale started. And that is the Inky List. And this is a uh, CoQ10 uh, serum. And you get one ounce of product and it was just $6.99. And basically this provides a little bit of uh, hydration but uh, CoQ10 is basically an antioxidant for the skin. So I will do my skincare routine and apply this after whichever nighttime serum that I'm gonna use just to get that additional layer of antioxidant and also add an extra layer of hydration. So at one ounce for $6.99, a great antioxidant, like you can't beat that. So I'm super glad that I decided to try it out. And so far, I really do like the texture of the product. Actually, I'll show y'all. It's a thicker consistency because I really didn't know what to expect. So it looks like a lotion and it has squalene oil. So it's very lightweight. Look at that. Ooh. In just a few seconds, it's gonna all absorb.
I love it. All right, so next up from The Ordinary. This is a lactic acid. I don't remember exactly how much this cost, but I mean, it was less than $10. So this is a 10% lactic acid. I have used it once before and I did like the radiance that it gave my skin. You definitely need to be mindful of what you're using in your skincare routine for that night before and then that daytime so that you won't over exfoliate the skin. So yeah, this is a 10% AHA formula. I'm kind of using this in place of my Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So yeah, I'll show y'all. I mean, you see it has a tinted color to it. Very lightweight, not nearly as hydrating on the skin as that uh, CoQ10 serum. It sinks into the skin pretty fast. It's not tacky at all. So yeah, you can always use a good lactic acid in your skincare routine simply because, especially if you have um, dry skin, lactic acid is one of the more hydrating exfoliants. So I wanna put that out there. Next up is, again, from The Ordinary, and this is the Reservatrol Ferulic Acid, both at 3%, one ounce. Again, I believe this was less than $10. I know it was less than $10, uh, which was one of the reasons why I decided I want to go ahead and pick it up. So this one comes in a dark bottle. Again, both Reservatrol and Ferulic Acids are great antioxidants for uh, combating uh, environmental pollutants out in the world, you know, protecting your skin throughout the day. So this is one that I would use during the day. And it is a clear liquid and that's what it looks like. It definitely has more thickness, more viscous than the lactic acid. Slightly, slightly tacky. Um, I've not used this on the face. Um, as you can see, you definitely get a little bit of hydration, so I'm not quite sure how this will play with other products, but um, I can't wait to test it out and let you guys know what I think. Last but not least, two products that I couldn't wait to try out that were released shortly before the Sephora VIB sale. And the first up is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I decided to pick up the grapefruit one because whenever they had the limited edition potted uh, night lip mask I wanted grapefruit so I decided to go ahead and get the grapefruit lip balm you're getting 0.35 ounces of product and I think they were $15 yeah $15 and this is what they look like I haven't had a chance to use this yet <sighs> smells just like grapefruit so yeah I was excited about this I had to pick one up all right I'll keep you guys updated on what I think about that all right Last but not least is a cleanser. And this is from the makers of one of the most raved about moisturizers for oily skin on YouTube. And this is the Belief Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. Yes, this is a hydrating jelly cleanser. Great for all skin types. This does retail for $28. Yeah, $28. You're getting 5.41 ounces of product and it says that it's uh, good for removing makeup. I did use this once. I would not use this as a makeup remover. I would use my makeup remover, an oil or balm or makeup wipe, whatever you do to remove your makeup, then go in with this cleanser. So I can't give you guys full review on it yet, but what I will tell you is that um, it did provide a little bit of hydration. It did not strip my skin and I did enjoy using it. So it smells, literally exactly like the belief aqua balm moisturizer literally exactly like it and um i used this and i did enjoy it so i will continue to use it and i will let you guys know probably a few weeks from now on you know what my review is so okay dolls that is going to wrap up today's video you guys make sure you comment down below and let me know what you decided to pick up during the sale um there's still a few more days left so you guys never know what i might pick up um over the next few days i'm hoping to stay strong and not purchase too much so yeah um until the next time dolls i will see you later bye